We have heard of Muslims taking credit for uh, algebra, but did they have any impact on other sciences? When we look at the golden age of Islam, somewhere between 622 and say 1492, we find that Muslims uh, went into the world with open minds. They encountered the great knowledge of Alexandria, Egypt, the knowledge of the Syrians, the knowledge of the Iraqis, the knowledge of Indians, the knowledge of Africans uh, in, in Egypt and Ethiopia. They encountered the knowledge of China and they assimilated this knowledge. And what they were famous for doing is to take theoretical knowledge and to put it in a practical sense because the Muslim world had expanded by leaps and bounds probably faster than any other nation in the history of mankind. And so with this huge empire, Muslims were faced with uh, building cities, they were faced with uh, communications, they were faced with so many different things. And this is the reason why sciences like uh, algebra, al-Jabr, the fractions, was developed by al-Khwarizmi. But there are other sciences as well. I'll give you some examples of sciences originated by Muslims. Anesthesia, biology, botany, cardiology, chemistry, dermatology, embryology, emergency medicine, geology, metallurgy, modern surgery, modern medicine, modern arithmetic, optics, parasitology, pharmacology, pulmonary medicine, toxicology, and urology. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Muslims influenced other, other sciences. They advanced people in Europe and in much of the world by leaps and bounds during this golden age of Islam.